Hi everybody, my name is Chris O'Grady and this is my video application for Bear Grylls the Island. So I'm 35 years old, I'm from Kent, uh, I'm married to the most beautiful woman I've ever met, her name is Faye. Um, I have two beautiful little puppies called Honey and Herbie at home. I'm a personal trainer and health coach. Uh, I also work for the Out of Hours Emergency Services as a driver for the 111 service. And I feel very, very fortunate and uh, blessed to do what I do every single day. I love helping people. Um, I, I've done quite a few different jobs since I left school and nothing sort of fulfilled me um, in the way that um, helping people does. Um, it's an absolute passion of mine and getting up every single day is not a chore. I love what I do and when you love what you do it's not really a job to be honest. Um, so why am I applying for the island? So number one, uh, number one is uh, I've probably watched more survival programs and uh, Bear Grylls programs than anybody I know and uh, my wife it drives her crazy she says to me all the time she says why do you keep watching this rubbish you're never actually going to use any of these skills you're never actually going to be stuck on an island and all this type of stuff and for once in our marriage please can you help me prove her wrong so that I can actually say to her these skills are going to come in handy one day um, number two I love my creature comforts uh, I'm not going to lie um, I love coming home after a hard day's work and just sitting on the t uh, uh, chilling out on the sofa, um, watching TV, watching movies, um, eating nice food, um, cold water. How am I going to live without cold water coming out of the tap? Ice cold water, this is going to just drive me mad. Um, my phone, uh, obviously a big part of my business, I run off of uh, my phone, uh, my social media. Um, my barbers doesn't really look like it. Um, I visit my barbers once a week. Um, how I'm going to go weeks and weeks without a, a shave and a, a haircut, I, I do not know. Um, there's a few other things I'm going to show you now, which I'm probably not going to. I'm going to regret showing you, but these are my creature comforts. So I'm probably not going to lift some of them down, um, but hey ho, they are my creature comforts. So, um, my wife is a big reason why in my life. Um, she's been the most supportive, um, most amazing woman I, I, I've ever met. And last year I was diagnosed with a with a with a really rare eye condition, um, which basically uh, I've been told that I'm possibly going to lose my vision within the next few years. Um, and selfishly I kind of took this really really hard and sort of went into a state of sort of depression and, and sort of shut myself away from the world, shut my wife off um, and she's been so strong and so good for both of us, um, I'm finally coming out the other side of it, um, I'm, I'm dealing with it in a, in a different and a positive way now um, and I kind of want to use this to uh, really sort of appreciate my wife a lot more um, I already appreciate her more than words can explain, um, but I know going away from her um, and, and appreciating what I actually have got, um, being stuck on an island with absolutely nothing, um, is just something that I think is only going to build a stronger um, and, and build me as a person. Um, obviously being told that news uh, was heartbreaking, um, and please don't think that I'm using this video as a, as, as a bit of sympathy or... or um, or, or, or just chasing for a bit of support, that's not me. Um, but of course, it's gave me a good kick up the butt and just, and it's gave me some um, some motivation in life to do some crazy stuff. Um, this weekend, I'm off to Africa where I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Never done anything like this before in my life. Um, never thought I would uh, until I got told this, but it gave me a kick up the butt, so I'm off to do some crazy stuff. Um, and obviously, live, being on the island is, is obviously going to be one of those things as well. So, I'm a team player. I can be a leader if I need to be. Um, hopefully, all these times I've been watching the programs, my skills can come into play. Um, but again, it's one of those things, if life doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And this is the reason that I want to be involved. So, hopefully this video goes down. Obviously, three minutes is quite short to get enough stuff in. When you look at how many outtakes it took me, I've been standing there for nearly an hour. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, and I hope you accept me. Cheers. Uh, my name is Chris O'Grady and this is my application for
uh, I'm a personal trainer and a health coach, uh, and I also am a <sighs> years old now from Kent. I'm married to the most amazing driver. That sounds crap. Services. Um, 